It's not, it's just like it's going to hover. Hello everyone, welcome back to Armour 3. Today we are carrying on with our Day Zero playthrough. Uh, we're on to part two. You guys did had an amazing response to part one. Um, a lot of you said you wanted um, it, me to carry on, so that's exactly what we're doing. Now, there was an update on Armour 3, which I think was me messed up my Exile um, servers and stuff. Um, it did end up corrupting one of the mods that I had for this, and when I redid the mod, my save was just gone. I don't know if I could have recovered it or whatever. It doesn't ma matter. I uh, just spawned back in. I started again. I did kill the dog. Don't worry, it was very humane. But once I killed the dog, I basically just re um, I just did what I did in part one. I came back to Belota. I killed the three guys in the airfield. I did manage to get some new, a uh, new uniform which was actually in the hangars. It wasn't on any soldiers. It was just like laying on the floor. So I did get a new uniform. I think I look a lot cooler now. I also have a Mark 14. I think this gun is. Yeah, I got a Mark 14, which is a lot better than what I had previously. Um, it's also it's taking control of dog. Even though I killed him ages ago, that's fine. One thing I have noticed as well, though, since I've loaded the game back up, down the bottom right, the, the money's gone, hunger's gone, everything's gone. So I don't know if I'm hungry or what. Who knows? I Hopefully it comes back. I don't know what to do about it. So I want to head up to the US military base because we went to the food shop. There's nothing really there. So, the US military base, hopefully, they might be friendly, they might be enemies, I don't know. Uh, it's three kilometers that way, so I guess we're going to start heading out. So, I just went on the Steam page for this mod, and I was looking up some of the comments to see if there was uh, anyone else had reported that the HUDs disappeared down the bottom right. No um, money or food or anything. God, thunder. Um, and apparently, it's a common bug. It happens to everyone who plays this. And, there's actually no way of fixing it. Apparently, the guy who made the map needs someone to script it so it stays there uh, every time you load up the game. So apparently, he doesn't know how to. So, but a few people said it comes back over time. So hopefully, it just pops back up, like in ten minutes or something. I don't know. We'll see. A helicopter. It's carrying stuff. I want that stuff. Oh, that's annoying. So I don't know if these are friendly. I don't know if there's AI here that are going to kill me or not. Okay, let's have a little look. Oh, there are AI down there. I get the feeling I'm going to have to kill them. I don't think they're going to be friendly. I don't know how many are actually down there though. I only see about three I think. Okay, so there's a wall here. I might move down to this wall, like right in front of me. And take some pot shots. I don't have a scope with this M uh, Mark 14, which kind of sucks. There are barracks, so hopefully there's some decent weapons in there. I might be able to find a scope in there. Uh, and there's a shop as well, which... Um... Oh, the weather in this is amazing. Okay. Yeah, let's move down. and we'll, I think we'll have to take out these uh, AI, because I think they will try and kill me. that rolling thunder? It sounds amazing. I've never heard that in armor before. The thing is, because there's no HUD, I can't actually change like zero in, things like that. <laughs> there's no way of me knowing it, what my zero in is. Even if this gun does zero, I don't know what it's what it's currently at. I'm going to move down to this building down here. Hopefully they don't shoot at me. 
Okay, I guess we'll gather if they're friendly very shortly when they um, get sight on me. I'm just, I think I'll just shoot them because I don't think they are going to be friendly. Let's find out. Nope, they're not friendly. <laughs> He's dead. God, that was lucky. No hesitation, just instantly firing at me. Okay, but where they are, I think, I think there's at least two more. I don't know how many ma bullets I've got left. Okay, I've got half a mag left. I don't think I've even got another mag. Okay, let's... Oh, lightning. Let's try to sneak in. Oh, vehicles, yes. Sweet. Okay, I don't, oh. The players are outside somewhere. I don't know where, though. Okay, I want to go around the back, because that's the only place I can think of them being. I don't want to go in there and start looting and they just run in behind me. <clears throat> Where have they gone? Genuinely. <laughs> this guy was on his own. Yeah, was, he's made sure it's abandoned him. Literally, I can't interact with their bodies. The only other place these guys could have gone is behind, around the back. Why well, are zombies over there? They've actually disappeared, like... Okay, well whatever then, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> the AI, there was at least three of them, and I killed one, and the other two have just like, run off. I don't know, I'm just going to go and start looting inside of here then, I guess. Well, they might actually still be in here, who knows. Getting dark again as well. Okay, I want to sleep. I'm scared. Yeah, it's morning. <laughs> okay, so there's an M4A1 in that tent there, but I just want to have a look around the barracks and stuff, see if there's anything different. Oh, the AI is still in here. Okay. I had a funny feeling they might be. Okay, I'm gonna take his pistol. He's got loads of ammo for it. This, <laughs> you need a pistol, really, to get for uh, killing zombies. Okay, well, I've got a funny feeling the last guy must be in here somewhere as well, then, so. I should really have a quick look around just to check. Okay, I don't know where he is then, so maybe there was only two. I don't know. Anyway, let's have a little look at the barracks and see if there's any guns that have spawned. Okay, well these barracks are pretty shit. There's nothing in them. <laughs> I thought there's one box that had a knife in it. Wow. PKM ammo box. 100 round ammo box. Tempting. I don't think I'd even use it, a um, PKM even if I found one. AFG grip. Pretty shit loot in this barracks, not gonna lie. Okay. Oh, I don't like the helmets though. They give you a lot better protection, but I much prefer looking cooler. I look how cool it with a bandana. I look how cool I actually look. I like a proper beast. Okay, well, we'll, we'll keep it anyway. We probably have to set it when we go to like, the storage place. Okay, well, I think that's everywhere in here checked, because I don't think you can go in these buildings. I'll tell you what, that what's that mod called again? Um, oh, I didn't check it back here, it might be... No. <laughs> There's that mod where it allows you um, to go inside buildings that you normally can't, so like, you'd be able to go in this building and stuff. I should put that mod in this, that'd be great. Okay, let's see what the... Um, I can't even see what the petrol's like, can I? Let's check the gauges. Okay, so I think that's the petrol there. It says F. F I assume that means full. Um, so that's good. So we've got a car. Okay. So I need to figure out how this... I don't even know if base building is a thing. I'm only assuming it is. 
So you got vehicle content. It says you can put stuff in here. And the helicopter's back. Okay. Cool. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, so I guess we'll go to the survivors camp next then. And then we'll head to the storage place. Because I want to see what the storage place is all about. So I, I think we'll take the car. Um, we'll leave the truck here. Or should we take the truck? I think we'll take I think we'll take the car. The truck will be good for storage, though. Hmm. Let's take the truck. It's fine, we'll take the truck. Um how do I get in? Okay. There's a bit better protection as well in case you we do get shot at by someone. And I've never driven one of these before because it's part of a mod, so. Okay, so that's our destination then. We're going to go up the road. Uh, we'll probably stop in this tree line here. Because again, I don't know if there's going to be friendly AI there or not. Hopefully it's friendly AI as we do some trading or something. We'll see. So I need to check to see um, if I can actually pick things up to put in the back of this. To actually help build a base. Because I, I don't know how it works. I, I've got a funny feeling it works like, waste, uh, it works like uh, Wasteland. Where you pick up like uh, sandbags that are lying around. You can put them in your truck and then you know, take them back to your base or whatever. That's what I'm assuming. But I haven't seen any sort of anything like that. So I don't know. We'll see. Pretty cool truck though, for a mod. I've gone the wrong way, great. <laughs> Whoops. Is there anything at Green Mountain? Apparently not. Oh, there's a person there, look. Oh, it looks like the, the um, we got um, full fuel as well, you can see there. The fuel gauge is right at the end, so we have got fuel in this, which is good. Charge! <laughs> Dead. Okay, so I'm going to park the truck here on the side of the road, because the survive camp is 300 metres away, so I want to go on foot. So we're going to park up the car here, or truck, and then we're going to go on foot. Stay there, don't go anywhere. Okay, so I see tents, I see some little hunting towers. I see a vehicle. I don't see any players, I'm just going to run up to it and see what happens. <laughs> oh, Humvee, hell yeah. Don't see any players though. Hmm. Maybe it's abandoned. And we've got three Humvees sitting here, which is great. Let's go and check out the tents. So there's a fireplace or something over here. So we could essentially adopt one of these as our base as our base, I guess. I don't quite know how that works. Yeah, I don't see anyone. Which is surprising. And loads of graves there, look. I am going to just drink as well, right now, quickly. Because I can't see my my HUD. I can't actually see if I'm thirsty or not. But I'm just going to assume that I am. So, I'm going to have to just keep drinking and eating every now and again. Let's have some tactical bacon as well. Oh yeah, that's what we want. A proper bandana, look at that. A camo bandana. Hell yeah. Thunder is loud. Okay, so we've got a little fire. I um, guess that could probably warm you up as well, because you do get cold. But I can't see my temperature, so I don't know if I'm cold or not. So we'll just sit here for a bit. But yeah, I, I, there's no one here. 
It's a survivor's camp. I'm a survivor, but I must be the only one. Um, I guess then we'll just get in the Humvee and we'll head over to the storage depot and see what's going on over there. Because I'm quite interested to see what that is. So I'm hoping you can maybe buy building stuff and you can like maybe convert this base and like you know make it into a proper nice decent base. I don't know. We'll see. It's just one of those pretend cars. Yeah. I've always hated these things. They look like normal cars. From a distance, you'll see it. You run up to it. And it's not. It's just. A, it's just a prop. It's not even like a car you can enter, which sucks. Was that a box there before? It wasn't. Okay. Right. I'm gonna be careful in here because I would, haven't actually looked in here. So there might be like AI hiding in here or something. Okay, yeah, it looks clear. Okay, well I've searched everything here. There's no one, no AI, nothing special here to be honest. Um, so I guess it's like the Humvee, assuming it's got ammo, uh, ammo, sorry, fuel. Let's have a look. Okay, it says it's like full, so. At least we've got a Humvee, which is really nippy off road. Um, door toggle. Whoa, what's all this stuff? You got lights. God, you can like open the windows and everything. Look. Whoop. Keep them up. Better protection. Um, yeah, look, you can you can toggle doors. Uh, where is it? So we toggle it now, and when we get out, it should stay open. And then do you have to close it? No, you can't. Okay, well, that's, that kind of sucks. I don't want that. Turn off. I want it to shut automatically. Okay. So, I guess now we set a new marker to this storage depot. Because I'm really, really curious to see what's over here. Okay, how far away is it? Three kilometers away. Okay, let's go. I was keeping an eye out on my fuel as well. Should be fine. There's plenty. It, a full tank takes ages to... Uh, to go, so we should be we should be okay. I think I've got a toolkit as well in case we crash. So we're in a good standing. Hopefully, there's no one at this storage depot to kill us. <laughs> okay, so we're here at Starry. I think it's the Starry. Pretty sure it is. I've always get I always get mixed up, but I'm pretty sure it's the Starry. Okay, let's just drive over. And if there's any AI, we can just uh, turn around and drive off, I guess. But there are zombies. Hopefully there's no one here to shoot me. That would be nice for once. Okay, I'm just going to drive in. There should be a trader here, I'm guessing. Kind of like the food place. There just, should just be some guy in here. I hope so, anyway. Maybe we should just get out. Hello? Anyone here? Um... Here's some storage. Oh, oh, here we go. Look, we can take gates and stuff. So we can take all this. And we can build stuff with it. Oh, that's cool. That's a lot of work. <laughs> that's a lot of work. And is there only this stuff as well, or is there more? Is there anything outside I could take, maybe? Nope. Seems like it's just this. Okay. So I think what we'll do, we'll just convert one of the bases. I think we'll convert. We'll check out this survivor camp here, and if this was, a, if this is a good base, we'll I'll take that because it's kind of in the centre. I also noticed this as well. What's this question mark mean? Oh, we'll check that out. But yeah, I think we'll. Um, there's another storage depot as well. So that, is there any more? Or is it just two? Okay, so there's, I think there's only two storage depots. So they've probably got different stuff in them. Helicopter's back. Drop pit.
It's not, it's just like it's going to hover. Or is it just slowing right down? No, it's going to hover. Oh no, it's just changing direction. Off it goes. Maybe I've got to try and shoot that down somehow. Maybe there's like a um, a stinger somewhere on the map, and I have to shoot down that heli, and I get all the loot that's in the little crate. Or maybe it runs out of fuel and crashes. I don't know. Pretty cool though. Okay, so shall we shall we take some stuff, or shall we just? I guess you might as well fill up this Humvee while we're here. Um, God knows what with though. Let's just try something. Let's uh, let's just see how it works first. So let's. Load bar gate into Humvee. Yeah, there you go. Loading in progress has been loaded into the Humvee. So this kind of works like Wasteland, I guess, which is pretty good. Um, so view contents. Okay, so you can only fit one more thing in here, which is fine, I guess. So I don't know what these are. Are these just floors? Let's take a wall over here. So yeah, this is where a um, <laughs> this is where our little uh, truck that we left behind would come in handy. Okay, so it should be full now. I'm guessing, yeah, it's full. Okay, right. Let's let us head then. Or should we look at Starry first, or should we just head straight to this other survivor camp? Or oh, is this one next to a lake? Is this a lake here? Hmm. No, I think we'll just go. We'll just head out. So I really want to check out these places. I really want to understand how this works. And so far we've figured out there is actually base building then. So we have all this stuff in here which we can use to our advantage, which is good. We could essentially just build a base in the middle of a field if we wanted to. But I think because it's quite tedious, I think we're just going to um, take over one of the survivor camps and make it our own. I think that's a good idea. 